Hi everybody, welcome back to Michael Knapp Fishing. He's got that down pretty good, right? Uh, so today's video, this is this Thanksgiving week. That's when this video is coming out. I just got back from my honeymoon, so we have got a bunch of packages that we have to unbox. Um, this package though was specifically sent for me and B. I wasn't sure when we were going to make this announcement just yet, but uh, we're going to go ahead and do it because uh, why not? Let's just go ahead and get it out of there. So uh, we're going to roll that intro and then we'll get into the unboxing. Alright guys, so the unboxing today, and it'll, as soon as we show it to you, it'll give it away of who we're working with now. Uh, so they uh, they reached out to me uh, right before I left my honeymoon, and we are super excited to announce that we are working with Mystery Tackle Box now. Um, this is actually going to be Bentley's first ever uh, unboxing of any kind of these. He's never done uh, any of these tackle boxes before. Uh, I used to work with another brand. Uh, Mystery Tackle Box has now picked us up. Uh, you can hear it. There's a lot of good stuff in there. Um, so Mystery Tackle Box has picked us up. We are working with Catch Co now and all of their companies or all of their uh, the companies that they own. So we're, we're really excited, really blessed to be able to work with Catch Co this year and next year and hopefully many years to come. So we're going to open this bad boy up and we're going to check out what is in this month's Mystery Tackle Box. All right, guys, so like I said, this is Bentley's first time ever doing this, so I'm going to give him the honors of getting to crack this bad boy open, and uh, we'll check it out, and we'll kind of go over what all is in there. So, B, go ahead and open her up. All right, so we've got all kinds of goodies. Let's show them real quick. What we got here, look at that. Got all kinds of good stuff in there. So, cool thing about uh, the Mystery Tackle Box is it unfolds up here and actually has a ruler out here for you so you can measure your fish. Uh, it's got keeper requirements for some states. Um, it's a little different in Tennessee. Um, it's got all kinds of shop Carl stuff on there. Bentley's already digging. He's like, yo, I wanna, I wanna see this. All right, grab the first one. What are we gonna look at, B? All right, so Bentley instantly went to the plastic baits. Uh, that's kind of his thing, his forte. He does a lot of plastic fishing. So. First up, we've got net baits. It's the 4.75 inch contour worm. Uh, this is a very, very finessey style bait in watermelon red. It comes with 10 of them in here. Uh, it's kind of got a little bit of a ribbing to it. Uh, very, very nice overall compact profile. I can't really get it to focus in on there, but a cool compact profile. Uh, you can really throw on a shaky head or drop shot, stuff like that. What we got next, B? Shocker, he's going right back to the plastics again. All right, this is a somatis bait, I guess is how you call it. I gotta try and get the baits down. Uh, this is a, a yet yeah, another finesse presentation. Um, I'm not really sure what these are supposed to replicate. Let's actually open this up real quick and we'll take a look at one of these. It kind of looks like little, uh, little like fry swim bait kind of deal. Uh, something you would put on a drop shot. Um, it's got a nice feel to it. It's not a real slimy bait. It doesn't smell bad either. It's got a nice uh, attractant to it. Uh, this is a more of a green pumpkin with a little bit of gold flake color. Um, it doesn't have like any names or anything on it of what exactly that bait is, but uh, definitely like that bait. Uh, it's gonna come in handy for some drop shot baits here in the winter time real soon. What's up next? What we got there? Hooks, weights, oh, okay. So I guess kind of the theme that we're going with for the uh, bass, this is the, the pro bass box, by the way, I didn't mention that part, but uh, we're kind of going with, it's getting colder. Uh, so these are drop shot baits. So we've now got, uh, these are actually uh, Carl Stash drop shot stick, uh, stick weights. I'm trying to get the focus in. Uh, these are 3 16 ounce. Um, they've got the, uh, the clips on them instead of like the rings to tie on to. I like those a lot. I uh, got a five pack of those in there. So those are those are gonna really come in handy during the, why won't it focus? Hmm. It'll come in somewhere. Either way, either way. 
drop shot weights right there. All right, next up, ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. a jerky jerk. This is the Lunker Hunt slash 125. This is a massive, massive jerk bait. Uh, this is gonna be able to get down to 12 feet. It comes in at 5 eighths of an ounce and it is 4.3 inches long. Uh, it's designed to suspend and you can see with that massive bill on there, uh, it is really gonna get down there really nicely. And it does have rattles in there as well. Uh, definitely like that jerk bait a lot. It got a lot of cool color to it. I think it's focusing on Bentley the most. Uh, maybe, no, okay, oh well. We'll worry about that part later. It's what else we got? Oh, that's that's what Bentley cares about right there. He's got him another sticker from Catchco. He's a he's a sticker fiend. He loves his stickers. Okay. All right. So this is a castic. Um, this is something that I really enjoy doing during the winter time that not a lot of people do. Uh, it's cranking. And believe it or not, bass don't care that it's cold with a crankbait. They will still go after crankbaits. This is called the Castic Mana Crank. Uh, this is the six. So it's a two inch bait, weighs five sixteenths of an ounce and will dive to two to four feet. Uh, this is a great little bait with that blue and green. Uh, if the water gets stained, uh, you'll definitely be able to call them up with that. And I do believe, yep, it does. It rattles as well. Yes, we are a member of Catchco. What you got there? Is that there? 30% off. Oh, okay. So we got some 30% off Bentley's finding for his uh, Catchco deal. Okay. What else we got? We got two more baits. Okay, so this this is this one I really enjoy. Uh, this is the Janko. I gotta try to remember what it's called because it's been a while since I've thrown one. This is the Janko Rip Knocker. Uh, it is a lipless bait. It comes with VMC standard hooks on there. Uh, and the reason why I know this is I was sponsored by Janko. I guess I still technically am. Uh, I do still work with Janko from time to time. Um, they've, got, they've got some really, really nice hooks on here. Uh, I like the way the baits look. They move through the water really well. They bounce and yo-yo really well. And it's a much larger profile than most other lipless baits are. I just like the way that it comes off and the way it rattles through the water. What else we got here? Okay, so... To complete our uh, drop shot uh, style of fishing here for it getting colder, these are Spearpoint Performance Hooks GP Finesse Drop Shot Hooks. Uh, these are number two hooks, and they've got a very um, a very odd style of bend to them. They call them V-grips. So the V-grips are, uh, in theory, going to allow you to pin fish down a little bit easier. I'm going to see if I can get one of these out to show you. A little bit easier all right so you see it is it's a very tiny but you see how it's got like that little bit of a V there uh, so that's really what come on focus 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 maybe okay no well I had it for a second I think but anyway uh, it's got that nice unique V shape to the uh, to the hook that is in theory going to be able to pin those fish a lot better. Uh, I haven't gotten to try them yet, so uh, I am I am very excited to try those out to drop shot because um, it's the time of year, man. Drop shotting right now is going to become a big player with uh, with all this cold weather coming in. What else we got in there, B? We got some some uh, coupons or something. What we got here? What is this? Uh, let's see here. Your baits deserve pro tips and videos. Scan this doohickey with your phone's camera to get them. So that's a cool feature that uh, Mystery Tackle Box offers. Whose face is it on? Is it on your face or my face? It's on your face now. So uh, you, you're able to follow. You're able to scan that. Um, I got it. Did you get it? Yep. You're able to scan that barcode. It's going to give you uh, tips and everything for uh, how to fish these baits. And the cool thing is, you've also got the what's inside, and it gives you the price of everything, so you know that you're getting a really good deal when you're buying these boxes at discounted prices. So we've also got. Now I know, right? <laughs> we've also got. This is their fishing tips and tricks booklet. Uh, I don't know if this comes in every box or not because like I said, this is our very first uh, Mystery Tackle Box book or box, but uh, lots of cool uh, details in here. It's got 
uh, the Topwater Mothman. It's got three ways to rig a drop shot, throw a changeup in tough conditions, how to catch trophy trouts on jerk baits. Three things to remember this ice season, we don't ice fish. Uh, why do some fish jump? It's got all kinds of cool different things. Bucktails for walleye, an unusual technique that catches big ones. All kinds of different uh, tips and tricks and stuff in the box. So uh, we, we are extremely, extremely grateful and super happy to be able to represent uh, Mystery Tackle Box. Uh, we got a couple other odds and ends coming up, some more announcements that we're gonna be making here very, very soon. Uh, but we're really excited for the stuff that we're gonna be able to do with Catchco. And Catchco reached out to me and uh, they actually saw his video on YouTube of when he broke his PB. So uh, Ketchco found his PB video and uh, reached out to us and uh, obviously Bentley isn't old enough to be able to do it by himself. So uh, we're gonna partner up together and uh, Ketchco Mystery Tackle Box, uh, 10,000 Fish, all of their other brands are gonna be uh, supporting us next this year, for the rest of this year and next year. So uh, guys, if y'all like these videos, do me a huge favor, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if y'all subscribe the mystery tackle box if you use one of the other boxes let me know i'd love to hear about that down in the comment section below uh also if you all ever see us out on cherokee douglas watauga south holston watts bar chickamauga out in the honey hole bright blue falcon there'll usually be three of us me kevin and bentley come over say hey we'll talk a little bit of fishing take care everybody